Okay, in this seventh question, we have been given the equation of uh, a line L1. Now suppose this is the line L1 here, okay? And then we're given, um, uh, it says, find the vector equation of the line L2, okay? That is parallel to the line L1 and which passes through point A, which is five minus three, two. So if this is the line L2, then I can easily say that its equation is going to be R is equal to, it is passing through the point A. So this is five minus three, two. And then plus, uh, we can write here um, mu this time, okay, mu into, um, since they are both parallel, so I can take this direction vector as the direction vector of the line L2 as well. So this is four minus one and minus three. So this is the answer to the part A where you had to write the equation of the line L2. Now it says that show that A, which is somewhere over here on this line uh, L2, which is five minus three, two. A is the foot of the perpendicular from the point B. Now let's say there is a point B. I'm taking it here. There is a point B over here, okay? And this, this is a foot of the perpendicular from point B. Now this point B is four minus seven, two. So in the previous questions, we were finding this point. Now we're given, we have to show that this is the foot of the perpendicular from this point B to this line L2, okay? So remember all those steps. So we, we will just suppose that this point A is, since it is on the line L2, can I say this OA is five plus four mu minus three, minus mu, and this is two minus three mu. That is my OA. Then from this OA, I can find AB, okay? Why, why am I finding this AB? Yes, will someone like to tell me? So we are finding this AB so that we can perform um, the dot product of AB with the direction vector of L2. That will give us this mu. And then we'll put that mu into this OA to show that this A is this five minus three two. So let's find this OAB. So that is OB minus OA. So this is OB is four minus seven two and minus this is five plus four mu minus three minus mu and we have two minus three mu. Okay, so this is uh, four minus five is minus one minus four mu, minus seven plus three is minus four plus mu, and two minus two is zero, and this is just three mu. So that is my AB. So now let's find AB dot this direction vector, which is four minus one minus three. So I'll be putting that equal to zero. So now I have um, AB is minus one minus four mu times four is uh, minus four minus 16 mu. Then this minus one into this is plus four minus mu and this is minus nine mu, that is equal to zero. So I have uh, minus 26 mu, that is equal to zero. So this means mu is zero. So when mu is zero, you put that into this OA over here, okay? So you will get this OA as when you put mu equal to zero, so this becomes five minus three, Two. And that is what we had to show that this point A is five minus three, two. So remember the steps, you have to take this point on the line in terms of this given equation. So like, you know, uh, the way you find the parametric equations. So you have, this is your X, this is your Y, this is your Z. And then you find this AB, okay? This AB, so that you can find AB dot this uh, direction vector of the line, you put that equal to zero, you get this unknown 
okay? And then you put that back into this um, uh, point, okay? Suppose if you had to find the, uh, the length of this uh, AB, the distance of this B from this line, then you have to put your lambda mu into this, okay? So this could have given you AB as uh, minus one, minus four, and zero. And then you can say that the length AB is going to be one plus 16, and that is going to be under root 17. Okay, this was it from this question.